Hello, I'm Sherry Rappaport, one of the teachers, one of the grateful teachers with the beautiful Urban Yoga Studio of Palm Springs. Thank you for joining me today. Do a, a beautiful, gentle 30 minute class. We'll incorporate just some stretching, some breathing, some becoming present and practicing with mindfulness. I think that's what brings us to yoga, um, that beautiful ability to stay present with equanimity and resilience and grace so that we can move through this life gracefully and be in the moment. So thank you for joining me today. We'll begin by taking a seat. You can choose Sukhasana, cross leg. I'm sitting here. You can choose hero's pose, sitting on the heels. Um, I'm using a bolster today. So, um, my, my anatomy features tight hips, and a lot of us have that. So uh, blocks and bolsters, straps and blankets. The props that we use in yoga are just a beautiful gift to bring the earth up to us and allow us to be, find comfort and ease within the poses uh, and have lovely alignment and really um, practice more deeply or authentically. And um, so don't be afraid to use the props, they're, they're wonderful. So I'm gonna begin in Sukhasana seated pose. Pull the flesh away from the buttocks to get the sits bones nicely grounded. That's our root chakra. And I, I am up on the bolster. It's allowing me to have my hips be slightly higher than the knees, which allows for a little tilt in the pelvis so that I can have a nice tall spine. Feel that. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down quite deliberately. And maybe as you do, you feel an opening through the heart center. Beautiful heart center. The arms and the hands are completely relaxed. The hands resting in the lap. Feel the head resting right over the spine. If you tend to jut out the chin, maybe tuck it in a little bit so that you feel nice and long through the back of the neck, head in line with the spine. If you're comfortable, you can close the eyes from top to bottom, dive inside. And we'll take a few moments to arrive on the mat. Begin with a few cleansing breaths. That's a big inhale through the nose, exhaling through the mouth with a sigh. And now we'll settle into the natural breath, the gentle inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Taking a little time. No need to manipulate the breath. Just notice what's here right now. Just notice this inhale. This exhale. Maybe you know the sounds around you, they come and go. Maybe you're distracted by the thinking mind, the thoughts come and go. Always return the focus to the inhale and the exhale. One of my favorite meditation teachers says, Be becoming is unnecessary. The becoming is unnecessary. Ah, Brenda. Hold on. Okay. Leo. 
Start it over. I've got a partner here. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Welcome. Can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear you. Oh, let me let me turn off the. I think I got it now. Oh, now yes, I I can hear you. You can hear me. My little speakers on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I was busy doing something on online and I couldn't I couldn't log off and you know until I finished it. So that's why I'm late. Sorry. No worries, no worries. I was just kind of <laughs> kind of just talking into the universe here <laughs> now. So well, I'm here now, so you can talk to me. I'm always happy to talk to you. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. uh, what kind of what kind of practice would you like today? Oh, um, good question. I'm feeling good. We can make it um, whatever feels good to you. Like if it's you want to do a little stronger or uh, my body is feeling good today. I don't have any aches and pains. So, OK, we'll get into a little bit of um, vinyasa flow. Okay. But okay. as you flow through the, you know, down dog to plank to, uh, to you know, to knees, chest and chin to Cobra, be mindful of each aspect of the flow, that it's its own asana. Be careful of the alignment and safety. I'll cue a lot of keep your elbows close to the body, that kind of stuff. Perfect. That's okay, that sounds good. Okay. Sitting or we start sitting, yeah? We'll start, yeah, we'll start sitting. I've got a bolster here today. Okay. And if for some reason you can't hear me from uh, this distance, let me know. No, it's all good. Cool. Leo, we can ready begin now. <laughs> Leo does the editing later on. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about all the other stuff. Okay, so uh, here's my spiel. Welcome, welcome. I'm Sherry Rappaport from Urban Yoga in Palm Springs, a wonderful, fabulous My Yoga Home studio. So we're going to have a, a, a gentle flow practice this morning and welcome everybody. We'll begin in a comfortable seated uh, position. So maybe Sukhasana, cross leg, I buy a, maybe hero's pose, sitting on the heels, uh, maybe legs out in front, find your comfort and your ease. We're looking for a seat that is comfortable yet upright, right? So we're going to be alert, uh, yet relaxed. I like to pull the flesh away from the sits bones, getting my root chakra nicely grounded. Um, up here on the bolster, we're allowing my hips to be slightly higher than the knees, which allows for my side body to be nice and long. Hold it deliberately, roll your shoulders up, back, and down, and maybe you notice an opening through the heart center. Yeah, the arms and hands are completely relaxed, the hands resting in the lap, maybe palms up for receptivity and surrender. Maybe you're feeling the need for a groundedness, maybe palms facing down. Find your hand position, your mudra. The head rests over the shoulders. And notice how you're rooting down through the sit bones and rising up from the crown of the head. Alert, yet relaxed. If you're comfortable, you can close the eyes from top to bottom. Dive inside. We'll take a few moments to arrive, to settle in, to become present. Start with a few cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth with a sigh. Couple of those. And now settle into the natural breath, the gentle inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Just notice, maybe you notice a kind of buzzing sensation through the body, or if you come from activity, then you feel the heart beating in the chest. Just notice 
and continue breathing. One of my favorite meditation teachers says, the becoming is unnecessary. Right now is the thing. The becoming is unnecessary. Right now is the thing. Let's bring hands to the heart center in Anjali Mudra prayer position. The, the thumbs nestle into the bottom of the breastbone and the fingers radiate out like rays of the sun. Taking Anjali Mudra in honor of yoga, in honor of connection, in honor of self care and wellness. Open the eyes, lower the hands, beautiful. Let's come to standing, get a little bit of uh, movement here. We'll come into what's called goddess pose. So the feet are wide with the heels in, turned in and the toes turned out. Find a nice stance. Your knees are slightly bent, kind of the knees are over the ankles, right? Bring your lower ribs in and feel the tailbone dropping. You don't want me sway back. Let me demo from the side. This, bring the lower ribs in and feel the tailbone drop. Sometimes there's a lovely release there when we do that, release of the lower back. Bring the arms up into cactus arms, the arms at a 90 degree angle, and the triceps are parallel to the floor, so we're not down here, but here. Beautiful. We're going to do that sunflower. So inhale, straighten the legs on overhead. Exhale, come back to where we started and continue. And continue at your own pace with your breath. Maybe you're feeling, I got a little, you know, energy I need to get out here. I'm going to go faster. Maybe it's like, I'm going to go slower and really dive into the breath and do it with more control. So at your own pace, this is your practice, sunflower. And yes, if you want to go a little more vigorously, you can bring the elbows down to the waist. Keep your movement here. And let's come on back to the goddess pose. Beautiful. Uh, just lower the arms. The legs are still bent. We're just going to take some side bends. So straight the legs and bend to one side and come on back to the other side. Doing that nice side stretch. We're still moving the legs, warming up the body, getting some prana, getting some chi moving, the breath and the energy. And come on back to the goddess pose. We're going to twist. Be gentle. Be strong to the core. Don't overdo it. And back to center. Got one more thing here. 
You're still in the goddess pose with the legs bent. Bring your hands to the thighs with the thumbs on the inside. And then let your tailbone drop. We're going to do Kapalabhati, the breath of fire from here. So that's inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And on the exhale, you snap the belly in. And let it go. Beautiful. Straighten the legs, roll the shoulders up, back and down, take a breath, a cleansing breath. Come on back down again, the hands on the thighs, and dip the left shoulder down, pressing into the left hand on the thigh, yeah. Get the lower back stretch, breathe. Come back to center and dip the right shoulder down using the right hand on the thigh for leverage. And breathe. Come on back to center, bring yourself up, come back into <laughs> the goddess pose with the cactus arms and lift your left heel. If it's in your practice, lift both heels. You wanna try the balance thing. Here we go. One at a time with both. We're feeling the burn. <laughs> Lower the heels, lower the arms, straighten the legs, peel toe the feet in. Beautiful. Come to the top of the mat. If you're not there yet, and I'll demo from the side here. Beautiful. So look at your feet. They should be hips distance apart. We'll get into a little movement here. And then inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Look up. In fact, take a little back bend from the heart center. Come back to center, come go forward, down, and swan dive with a flat back to a forward fold. Go ahead and bend the knees, bring the hands to the mat, step back to a down dog. And this is the first down dog of the practice, so be gentle. In the down dog, the four fingers are pointing forward, the triceps are rolled in, We're pressing under the bones of the forefinger and thumb, head is relaxed. You can have bending the knees, heels off the mat. But feel the sits bones reaching. Sit down, dog. And breathe. Okay, we're going to get to the lower body a little bit. Inhale the right leg up and back behind. Bend the knee. Step that foot to the top of the mat. And go ahead and lower the left knee down. We're in the low lunge. My right knee is safely over the ankle, feeling the tailbone drop and the heart center coming forward. Low lunge. If you're feeling that in the hip flexor, the quadricep on the left side, hands can be on blocks. That's good too. Beautiful. A little time here, let things settle. Bring the hands to the mat if they're not there. Heel toe your right foot over to the edge of the mat, to the right edge of the mat. Come onto the outer edge of that right foot, reviewing the sole of your foot, and then come on down. This is lizard pose. Maybe it's here, maybe you can come all the way down. Just depends on your body. Maybe your hands are on blocks. Lizard pose. Lower the sole of the foot down. Walk your foot back in line with the hip. And now inch your right foot forward. Finally, flex the foot, bringing the toes towards the face and bring your hips into center. Half split. This gets into the hamstring, most likely. And breathe. Lower the sole of the foot down, bring the foot back in line with the hip, lift 
Your left knee up, hands are on the mat. Step back to down dog. And breathe. Inhale the left leg up and back behind, bend the knee, step, or you can even assist using your hand on your ankle, the left foot forward, lower the right knee, we're coming to the low lunge on the other side. <clears throat> Again, the knees are safely over the ankle, the sternum coming forward, maybe hands are on blocks. Heel toe, the left foot towards the left edge of the mat, come onto the outer edge of the foot, exposing the sole, and bring yourself down into the lizard pose. This is getting into the inner thigh and groin area. Quite the stretch. Lower the sole of the foot down and walk the foot back in line with the hip. Mm -hmm. Now move your left foot forward a few inches, flex the foot, bringing the toes back towards the face, and bring the hips into center. Hamstring stretch. And breathe. Lower the sole of the foot down, step the foot back, hands are on the mat, just go ahead and come to hands and knees. Come into the tabletop. So the knees are directly under the hips, the hands are under the shoulders, four fingers pointing forward and triceps rolled in. Let's begin cat and cow here. Getting some movement into the spine. And again, make the movement your own, make the practice your own. Maybe you like to uh, take a pause at the top of each cat or cow. Again, diving into the breath and then taking that pause in the cat. Inhaling into the cow and, and holding for a moment. Exhaling into the cat and holding for a moment. <clears throat> or maybe you want a quicker pace. See what your body needs today. See what feels good today. <clears throat> Beautiful. When you're complete, come on back to the flat back tabletop. Mm -hmm. Again, the four fingers are pointing forward, the triceps are rolled in, and we're pressing under the bones of the forefinger and thumb. Lift your right leg up off the mat, straighten out the right leg. Leg is right up from the hip, toes pointing down. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and take five knees to nose. Our inhaling long, exhale, bring it in. Re-extend, beautiful. We're gonna swing the right leg out to the right. Move my props. Swing the leg out. Before you set it down, look at your foot. Lower the foot down, the toes are pointing forward. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Nice open twist. Notice how I'm stacking the shoulders. And breathe. You can breathe into your right lung here. Imagine that. Lower the right hand down. We're going to swing the right leg all the way across the body, across, 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 the toes land, the foot is flexed. Look over your left shoulder at your right foot. And breathe. It's a beautiful side stretch. Yes, I love this one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Inhale the right leg back to center, lower the knee down. Take a few cat and cows again here. And back to center, beautiful. Inhale, straighten out the right, the left leg, right out from the hip, not too high or low. Toes are pointing down. Breathe. Take five knees to nose. So inhale here, exhale, bring it in. Re extend. Beautiful. Swing the left leg out to the left, but before you set it down, look at your foot. Lower the foot down. Seal the sole of the foot down. Toes pointing forward. Inhale, <clears throat> inhale sweep the left arm up. There we go. There's that open pose here. Send the breath into the left lung. Lower the left hand down. We're going to swing the left leg across the body to the right, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Let the toes land, foot is flexed. Look over your right shoulder at your left foot. Bring the left leg back to center, lower the knee down, come into child's pose. Take a little uh, breather. The knees are wide, the big toes touch, the buttocks comes back towards the heels, you crawl the hands forward, then the forehead down on the mat, ideally, and breathe. Maybe cleansing breath feels good here. When you're ready, lift the forehead, bring your hands under the shoulders, walk yourself up. And I'm going to demo this from, uh, from the side. So we're up on our knees, the toes are tucked. Now sit back on the heels if you can. We're getting a little foot stretch from here. And here you can reach around and separate your little toes. Little toe stretch. Beautiful. So we're getting a little something for the, for the feet. Let's do a little something for the, the hands and the wrists. We're going to bring our hands down to the mat with the fingers pointing towards us. It looks like this. And you can press into your hands, get that nice stretch. You can do, you know, a control how much pressure you put on there. So we're stretching the feet, stretching the hands and the wrists. And breathe. Anytime you feel you've had enough for your feet, just come uh, onto the top of your feet. If you're still good there, go ahead and flip the hands over. We're coming onto the top of the hands with the fingers pointing towards us. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That blood, I think there's some really sensitive nerve endings on the top of the hand. Yeah. Come out of that. Well, come on to hands and knees. Come on to the top of the feet. Just tap out the feet. Sit back on your heels. Shake out the hands. Beautiful. And if you're okay sitting in the hero's pose, we're sitting on our heels. Beautiful. We'll do some eagle arms while we're here before we get into standing poses, et cetera. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to bring a block over. Sit on the block. Go. Bring your arms straight out from the shoulders, palms facing in. We're going to do eagle arms here. 
The right arm comes on top of the left at the elbow, bend the elbows and reach around, see if you can get palm to palm, something like it. On an inhale, lift to the elbows. On an exhale, bring the arms away from the body and breathe. And I wanna just offer an option for those who may not be able to have this accessible. You can have your right arm over your left and give yourself a hug, reach around and try to grab those shoulder blades with your fingers. That's an option too. We'll get into the shoulders a little bit, opening up here. On the next inhale, maybe you can lift a little higher. Exhale, the hands come wide. Float the hands down, feel that. Roll the shoulders up, back and down and take a cleansing breath. We'll go to the other side. Arms out from the shoulders, palms facing in. This time the left arm crosses the right at the elbow, reach around palm to palm. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, the arms come away from the body. Again here, the option is having the left arm over the right, reach around and hang on to those shoulder blades with the fingers. Breathe. The next inhale, maybe lift the elbows a little higher. Exhale, arms come wide, float the hands down, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and take a cleansing breath. And just sit for a moment and breathe. Beautiful. Let's come to hands and knees and we'll get ready for some gentle, gentle flow. So from the tabletop, hands and knees. And again, place those hands right under the shoulders, four fingers pointing forward, triceps rolled in. Tuck the toes, press the hips back, lift the hips up, downward facing the dog. You've been here before. The next inhale, lift the right leg up and back behind, bend the knee, step the foot to the top of the mat. Here's me demoing, assisting the foot to the top of the mat. Beautiful. Seal the back foot down as you bend into the right knee. We're going to come up for warrior one. So in warrior one, the right foot is a little bit more towards the right edge of the mat. The back foot is on an angle, a little bit more towards the left edge of the mat. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, nice. The right knee is settled over the ankle. Hips are pointed towards that bent leg. Arms up by the ears. And check in. The arms and hands are reaching, but the shoulders are soft and down. And breathe. This is Vera Madrasana One, Warrior One. On an exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. So the left hand is under the shoulder here. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Let's take a little twist from here. A little opening. Exhale, the right hand down. Step back to downward facing dog and breathe. Inhale the left leg up and back behind, bend the knee, step or assist the left foot to the top of the mat. Seal that right foot down as you bend into the left knee. You can use your hands on your thigh to bring yourself up. Or your one on the other side. And breathe. Exhale, hands down to the mat. That right hand is under the shoulder. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Maybe it feels different on this side. Okay, okay. Just notice.
Exhale the left hand down. Hands are on the mat. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Sign yourself from down dog. Breathe. Okay, on the next inhale, come forward into the plank. Feel yourself supporting the weight. Keep those triceps rolled in, looking in front of the hands in the center of the mat. We're going to come on down. We're going to take a gentle vinyasa. Come to the knees. Keep the elbows close. We're going to go to knees, chest, and chin. Five points. Hold there for just a moment. Butt is up. Knees, chest, chin. Now flatten out the body, right? Lengthen out the legs. Each leg, lengthen it out. Bring the hands back to the nipple line. Keep the elbows close to the body. Press into the legs and the feet. Press into the hands. Come on up to a cobra. Keep those elbows tucked in and breathe. Come on down from cobra gently. Tuck the toes. Bring yourself through the tabletop and back into down dog. We just did a vinyasa. And breathe. <clears throat> Inhale, the right leg up and back behind, bend the knee, step the foot to the top of the mat. Keep that back heel and back knee lifted. We're going to come up to crescent pose. You can use your hands. Watch me. So I'm coming on up. Knees over the ankle, reaching through the back leg. Arms come up. There we go. Crescent pose. Make the vigorous pose. Exhale the hands down to frame the front foot. Step back to down dog. Take a few breaths. <clears throat> Press and pose the other side, lifting the left leg up and back. Bring it forward. You can assist that foot forward. Okay, we've got the back heel and knee lifted. We're bending into the left knee and we're coming up. Find your balance. Arms up. Shoulders relaxed, arms and hands reaching. Feel your front foot on the ground, back toes. Exhale the hands down. This time we're going to step the right foot forward to meet the left. We'll take a forward fold. In the forward fold, the feet are hips distance apart. The knees are slightly bent or more. Energetically pulling up on the front of the thighs to keep the legs active. <clears throat> the arms and head are hanging or you can grab opposite elbows. Imagine those six bones reaching for the sky. And breathe. Release the hands if you've got the elbows. On an inhale, we're going to take a reverse swan. The arms come up and out with a flat back. We're coming up to rise. Bring the hands overhead into prayer. In fact, even take a little back bend from the heart center. Come back to the center. Let the hands come down the midline of the body. And release the arms. And breathe. Beautiful. <clears throat> we'll do another vinyasa with a warrior two combo. Real slow vinyasa. So, Inhale, arch the hands up, up and overhead, look up. Exhale, swan dive down with a flat back. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the mat. Step back to down on the face of the dog. This time, inhale, the right leg up and back behind. Bend the knee, we're going to bring the foot to the top of the mat, to the very center of the mat. Seal the back foot down. Before you come up, find your heel to arch line and we're bending into the right knee. And use your hands to bring yourself up. Swing those hips towards the open part of the body. 
Bring your arms out from the shoulders, palms facing down. Look out over your right hand. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Let's take a vinyasa. So windmill the hands down to frame the front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Come forward into the plank. Come down, knees, chest and chin, elbows staying close to the body. Hold up for a moment. Flatten out the body, lengthen the legs, bring the hands back slightly, elbows close, pressing into the legs, feet and the hands come up to the cobra. Lower down slowly, tuck the toes, bring yourself through the tabletop, downward facing dog. Beautiful, I'm just gonna turn around, hold your down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back behind, bend the knee, step or assist your left foot to the top of the mat in the center, seal the back foot down as you bend into that left knee, come on up. Warrior two. Looking out over the left hand, checking that the knee is safely over the ankle. And breathe. We're going to reverse the warrior, super simple. Flip the left palm up, relax the right arm down. Inhale, bring the left arm over the ear as you continue to bend into the left leg. Reverse warrior. Inhale back to the warrior two. And breathe. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bring the left side body up and out over that leg. Left arm down, right arm up. Trikonasana. Can you imagine rolling that hip under to open up the chest more towards the ceiling? On an inhale, come on back up and reestablish warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the front foot, step back to down dog. You have options here. You can hold down dog, take a child's pose, or take that careful and delicious, slow, Vinyasa, so I'm in plank. I'm in knees, chest, and chin, five point. Flattening out the body and getting ready to press up into cobra. Coming down, tucking the toes, coming through the tabletop, back to the downward facing <laughs> Turn around. Inhale the right leg up and back behind. Bend the knee. Step that right foot through to the top of the mat. Seal the back foot down. Bend into the knee. Come back up to warrior two. Bang. I we have to do the reverse on warrior, etc. And triangle on the right side. If I haven't lost my place. So we're in warrior two with the right foot forward, bending into the right knee. Lovely. Relax the left arm down, lift the right palm, reverse warrior. Inhale back to warrior two. Looking out over the right hand. Inhale, straighten the right leg. The right side body comes up and out over the extended leg. Come into triangle pose. Can you imagine rolling the right hip under to 
open up the heart more towards the sky. Inhale, come on back up, bend back into warrior two. Exhale, lower the arms, straighten the right leg, bring the right toes forward. Let's heel toe the feet in, wider than hips distance apart, with the heels in, toes out, hands come into prayer. We're coming on down to yogic squat. Find your version of yogic squat. Some people use a block underneath their buttocks. Some folks roll a blanket up and put it under their heels. They can't get their feet flat on the mat. There's lots of ways to come into yogic squat that are supportive. Yeah. There you go. And it's lovely to notice how maybe the elbows are on the inside of the thighs, opening up the thighs. Breathe. Heart center comes forward. Beautiful. When you're ready, in a careful way, bring your hands behind you and find a way onto the buttocks. Easy peasy. Yeah. With the feet out in front, feet on the mat, knees bent. Hands behind, just rock from side to side, rock the knees from side to side. Mm -hmm. And back to center, beautiful. Let's come on to the back and do some Figure four for the hips. If you have a block handy, it's nice for the uh, preliminary part of that. And if you, want, if you enjoy the folded blanket under the neck, enough support, that's nice too. And then come on down. Can you see me okay, Brenda? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. So here we are on the backs. Just to begin, because we've been doing a lot of work, you can bring your hands to your knees. You can rock from side to side. You can circle the knees. You can bring the knees wide and pull them in towards the armpits. Find some lower back release and self-massage. And when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Have that block handy. Bring your right uh, ankle to the left knee. Flex the right foot. The flat side of the block comes to the inside of the right thigh by the knee. The left hand anchors your left hip bone down. Press into the block as you push the thigh away gently. Breathe. This is a little preliminary move before we get into the classic figure form. Reconnect to the breath. When you complete with that, release the block, put it to the side. You're going to intertwine the hands behind the left thigh here and bring the legs in towards your left shoulder. Keep that right foot flexed. And then finally, imagine you could melt the tailbone down towards the mat. See if that gives you a little more depth or, or another layer to the pose. Sending beautiful oxygenated breath into the right hip.
Lower the left foot down, undo the cross of the legs. Enjoy a cleansing breath. If you enjoy the block, put it into your left hand. Bring your left ankle on top of the right knee, keeping the left foot flexed. The block goes to the inner thigh there, but the knee and the right hand anchors the right hip bone. Press into the block. Breathe. Release the block, put it to the side, intertwine your hands behind the right thigh as you bring the legs in towards your right shoulder. Reminder to keep the left foot flexed. And can you imagine the tailbone melting towards the mat? Relax the face and release the jaw. Lower the right foot to the mat and do the cross of the legs. Enjoy a great big belly breath, exhaling through the nose. If you, you're using a folded blanket under the head, just lift your head up and push the blanket away. We've got the block nearby. We'll do some a gentle inversion with the block since Brenda, you have a block there, don't you? Yes. Yep. Okay. So when you're ready, press into your feet, lift the hips, and we're going to place the sacrum on the flat side of the block. Uh, it's not up on the spine. It's not down on the buttocks. It's the sweet spot that I call the ledge. When you lower your hips down, it's nice and comfortable, not pinchy, feels supportive. Maybe you can roll your shoulder blades under and reach around with your hands, grab the edges of the block, at, uh, and see how that feels. This is a supported bridge pose. Lovely way to get it back then. Supported. Take a few breaths here. And now if you want to experience a gentle inversion, go ahead and bring the knees in and begin to straighten the legs. Hence, flex the feet and push out through the balls of the feet or stamping the feet at the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Have active legs pulling up on the front of the thighs. And now open the legs into a big, wide V. Get a nice inner thigh stretch. Continue to press out through the balls of the feet, having those feet flexed like little Barbie feet. Inhale the legs back to center. Go ahead and lower the soles of the feet down to the mat. And if you'd like, lengthen out each leg long on the mat. The heels are on the mat. So my legs are out and are down off you know, on the mat. <clears throat> this way, if it's comfortable, only do this if it's comfortable. There's no pinchy back. You can relax your legs and feet and take some breaths. This can be a nice psoas release. 
and a nice stretch for the hip flexors. Only if it feels good. Otherwise, bend your knees, be flat on the mat. Comfortable, just let it go. Go ahead and re-bend the knees, feet are on the mat. Press into your feet, lift the hips, remove the block, slowly lower the hips down. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana, the soles of the feet touch and the knees fall open. Giving it a, our sacrum a moment to settle. If you like, the left hand comes to the heart, right hand on the belly. Feel the body move. Release the hands, bringing the hands to the outer thighs, bring the knees back to center, feet flat on the mat. Bring your knees into the chest and with the left hand to the outside of the right knee, bring both knees over to the left. The right arm is right out from the shoulder, palm facing down. This is our simple supine twist. Breathe deeply into the belly. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Connecting to the breath. We're beginning to wind down the practice. On the next inhale, bring the knees back to center. We'll go to the other side. Both knees fall all the way over to the right. Maybe the right hand on the outside of the left knee is an assist. A gentle assist. Inhale the knees back to center and find happy baby. Find your version of happy baby. Ideally in happy baby, the tailbone is dropping. So if you find yourself way up off the mat, maybe this is your happy baby. Relaxing the legs, the arms and the hands that are under the, the knees. What we do here in happy baby is we Equalize the sacrum, allowing it to settle even. Here's another happy baby. Here's another option. Release the happy baby, bringing the knees deeply into the chest. Going to wrap our arms around the legs. On an inhale, the forehead comes up to the knees and we squeeze in, giving the body a hug, gratitude, body love. Let it all go. Find Shavasana. Looks like this. <laughs> The legs are splayed out, the arms by the, by the sides, palms facing up. Maybe rock the head gently from side to side, wiggle the, wiggle the feet to let the thigh muscles know it's time to let go. Shavasana. 
Shavasana, the most important pose of the practice. With a loving heart and a curious mind, take a gentle scan through the body. Is there some place, some nook or cranny where you can soften, release, relax, let it be? Maybe the thinking mind. Rest peacefully and sweetly in Shavasana for a few minutes until I call you back. Shanti, Shanti, peace. Gently begin to deepen the breath. You can explore some tiny movements, wiggling toes or fingers, rocking the head from side to side. If a full body stretch feels good, take a full body stretch. And when you're ready in your time, bring the knees into the chest. Roll to one side. And when you're ready, press into your hands to come up to a comfortable seat. Thank you for exploring yoga with me today. May we all be safe, be well, be happy, be supported, live with peace and ease. The light in me sees and knows the light in you. Namaste. Thank you.